Hey everyone, Anthony Sequera here with Stormwind.com and we are here to talk to you about the Data Center Unified Computing Support Specialist Exam and the certification that goes with it. So here's the deal. Once you get to clearing of the prerequisites, you can go ahead and take the Data Center Unified Computing Support Specialist Examination. Now, as you're quickly going to learn here today, this is the absolute easiest part by far. That's right, meeting the prerequisites is what's difficult. Once you meet the prerequisites, being VMware certified, for example, and passing a more difficult qualifier exam, once you get to this particular exam, it is quite simple. Now, obviously, where you're going to go for all your details on Cisco certifications is this URL right here, www.cisco.com forward slash go certifications. So watch this presentation, obviously, but the minute you should have a question about an exam number or what's on an exam or the lengthy prerequisites that are required for this particular certification, go up to Cisco's certification site and check that out. Now, don't forget, there are many, many different specializations around Cisco data center technologies. The particular specification and specialization that we are talking about is in the unified computing area, and it is the support specialist certification. This is designed for that individual that is going to be configuring, managing, and monitoring the UCS components in a Cisco data center. Well, the exam that we are showcasing here, the exam we're talking about is 642983, and it's big long title, Cisco Data Center Unified Computing Support Specialist Exam. <sighs> I'm out of breath. It's 642983. Last day to test on that, please take note, is 572012. Currently, there's 642994 available but this particular presentation is focusing on the 642983 with 572012 as the last day to test. Yes, we will be updating this presentation to give you information about 642994 at a later time. Folks, you're going to have approximately, well, exactly, excuse me, 90 minutes in which to complete this exam. More on that in a moment. You can expect approximately 55 questions. You can expect a passing score of approximately 80%. Don't hold me to those numbers as Cisco can vary them at any time. There are multiple choice, multiple answer multiple choice, and exhibits found on this particular exam. Now, the exam areas are installing a Cisco Unified Computing Data Center, configuring data center operating parameters, managing the Unified Computing System, troubleshooting it, and from a very, very high level, describing its particular concepts. Folks, I will tell you right now, this was the easiest exam that I have ever taken from Cisco. Given that you prepare using our materials, this exam will be very easy. Notice I give a time pressure rating of 1 on a 1 to 10 scale and a level of difficulty of 1 on a 1 to 10 scale. As a matter of fact, I really overstudied for this as I have been doing with this new area of data center and sure enough, for the first time ever, I scored a perfect score in a Cisco exam first time, and I have taken over the last 15 years countless exams I have lost count. Keep in mind that as a Cisco Certified Systems Instructor, I will retake exams. I will take every new version of an exam for my subject areas of expertise. This is the first time I've ever scored a perfect score. It's that simple. Now, with that said, let me caution you, just like for any Cisco certification exam, you are going to do what I ask you to do in the course and study using the methodologies I ask you to use. So you do have to study, of course. It's not that easy. Well, thanks so much for joining me in this presentation where we took a look at this Data Center Unified Computing Support Specialist exam.